Functional threshold power, also known as FTP, can be defined as the amount of work that you're able to do for about an hour, the amount of sustainable workload that you're capable of doing. Uh, some of you may have heard of lactate threshold or aerobic threshold or aerobic capacity. And while those values can generally be measured in the lab, you'll get to about the same value as doing a field test for FTP. FTP is a metric that was devised by Dr. Andrew Coggin, and it's a way to test our aerobic fitness, basically. And we do that testing in the field, outside or inside on a stationary trainer or on an indoor bike. FTP is important because it becomes a cornerstone for other metrics. Uh, there are a lot of values that we're able to calculate based on ride performance relative to our known FTP number. Uh, FTP is also the basis for setting up different training zones. And those training zones are used to create intervals in your training. So you'll be prescribed certain durations in certain training zones and those training zones will be relative to your FTP. So perhaps uh, a percentage above your FTP or even a percentage below your FTP. We test for FTP or functional threshold power in the field and my favorite test is actually a 20 minute test. So instead of having to do a full duration 60 minute test or hour long test, what I prefer to prescribe is a 20 minute test where the athlete will ride as hard as they can for that 20 minutes and will take that average wattage value from that 20 minute test and subtract 5% off of that number. So for example, if an athlete goes out and is able to do 300 watts for 20 minutes, we will subtract 15 watts off of that number and calculate FTP to be about 285 watts. As far as testing goes, the best terrain is generally a sustained climb of maybe 3 to 5 percent that's very steady. Um, we want to make sure that we're doing this safely on a road that's uninterrupted by stop lights or stop signs and allows for passage for the entire 20 minutes. If you don't have a climb, you could do this on flat terrain, that's not a problem. And you can also do it indoors, on an indoor bike or on a stationary trainer, again for that 20 minute period. 